answer to that first question is yes, I would like to streamline the process for these units. My concern is some of these folks that put in an addition without the proper permit, you know, they have children in those units, and my concern is the safety. So, you know, I don't want kids living in an unsafe environment because many of these kids are poor or, or you know, don't have, the parents don't have the means to rent an apartment. So they are built, uh, you know, they stay with a family member and they build this additional, you know, rooms in, in their homes. So I'm looking at, yes, I'm in favor of, uh, you know, providing amnesty for these folks because we want them to come and rather than be penalized, we want them to uh, volunteer the information and then uh, provide some assistance on how to fund it. You know, there may be grants or HUD money to help fund uh, the uh, building these uh, bedroom units. Um, up to code because that's my concern is again the safety and well-being of who is living in these uh, bedroom units and I know that many of them are families with children so that's my concern. Yeah, I would be in favor of implementing a plan to streamline the process for the units and uh, certainly to reevaluate the fee scales such that the owners uh, not only uh, could not only afford to bring their units up to code but they would want to do the right thing um, and prevent Genuinely, I believe that the homeowners, they want to invest in their property and they may need to make money off of the units and or uh, provide for their families. But by us as city officials and certainly through the permitting process, uh, working with them uh, on the fee scales, and from allowing the permitting process to be uh, a little more appetizing, again, as it stated, that it's uh, in Petaluma, it's, I mean, what, it's, it's almost 50% more than what we charge. So it would be reasonable for us to give consideration to homeowners who have invested uh, in our city and wants to be here. So this way, by us working closely with them, everybody wins. The city gets its revenues, and the families are able to uh, have their homes uh, at the capacity in which they desire to have them. You know, we need to have a process that, at the end of the day, pays for itself, and at the same time, allows for a streamlined process for homeowners to improve their own properties. Um, allowing them the ability to improve their property and bring it up into compliance and up to code um, adds value to the subject property as well as to the surrounding neighborhood. And so ultimately you're um, increasing the assessed property values for the area, which improves your property tax base and generates more re revenues for the city. So yes, that's important. Uh, agreed to streamline the uh, process. Would I consider amnesty for some fees? Yes. Uh, am I willing to allow the reevaluation of the fees? Uh, yes. However, I think we need to uh, be cautious so that uh, we take into account uh, how much it would be costing the city to do the inspections. In other words, we don't want to take a loss either. So we have to consider reducing the fees and uh, agreeing to some amnesty. Uh, but we need to be careful not to do it in such a way that uh, the Public Works Department ends up spending more city resources than collecting an insufficient amount of fees. <coughs> Lastly, I want to add that we, yes, we should encourage property owners to bring their properties up to code. It's, it makes it safer, makes it easier for everyone. And should they decide to sell their property at some point, if it's already according to code, there's less disclosure for us from the standpoint of our local realtors. Thank you. Well, thank you.